Since the day you were born, you never bothered with me. You never contacted me or said hi or anything. You have never acknowledged me as your grandfather. Seriously, it's scary. Let's go. Let's leave now. Your mother, she's Mexican. She's not allowed to cross the border, so she's stuck there, saying, I don't know what to do, say. So that's tough shit on you. You gotta be stuck with me now. I'm still working at Telstra. This is my voice, and this is my welcome. I am the best, best rep there. I have an award. This is how I answer them. Hello, would you like to order a Telstra product? Bitch. She says it finally always comes first, but it's not a priority to her. We'll make it a priority then. Make me a priority. I'm your grandfather. She laughed. Why would you laugh and spew? I think she has a bit of a problem. Nice scenario. Not that you care. I don't think she's ever had. This little baby. She's had since she couldn't walk. She couldn't talk. She couldn't do anything. I just seen her. She's ordered two hamburgers. She thought I wasn't listening. Anyway, you've got homework tonight and it's gonna be about four hours. Okay, you're gonna love it. And you're going to half and dance and have a disco every time you get a math equation right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You are, cause you're going to be the next Albert Einstein, you know? All I can say is skid marks. Skid marks and B.O. What are you staring at? Do you think it's funny? Do you think it's funny that I'm 99? The next time you come up and approach me, I'll throw you to the Jack Russell across the street. He's always looking for an ankle to bite. He might bite your ankle and your waist as well because you're that tiny. Can you even walk? Hmm? Say, I don't know what to do, say. Time to go.